Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Gael, I'm a customer success manager for Comin, and today I will be showing you how you can easily and quickly use our signage solution Comin Play. First thing, if you are not equipped yet with our signage solution, you'll need to go through our website and click on the blue button here in order to create your account and access your Comin Play space. Once done, you'll be able to directly access our platform Come In Play. So here is your home page where you'll see all the main information gathered. So first you'll be able to see if your spares is well configured. Also, you'll be able to find your eventual bookmarks such as your favorite screens, favorite playlists, we'll see that later. And uh, finally, a map that gathers all the screens you have around the world, if you have plenty. As you can see, you can have, for example, screens in France and screens in the US or wherever in the world. Uh, and you can still access them and see where they are located and even have status information about them. The next thing you need to know about Come In Play is the concept, the main concept, knowing the playlist. So very easy. The playlist works as a musical playlist. You just need to add content in that playlist, then to associate it to a screen, and this device will broadcast the contents you imported through that playlist. So just create one by clicking on the button New Playlist. Here, you can name it Demo, for example, or whatever the name you want. You can decide the access rights for this playlist, meaning if you want this playlist to be accessible by anyone or by specific people, and then you can decide to target it on one screen or several screens or even on groups of screens to be even quicker. Well, here we'll just associate it with the demonstration display and we'll be able to create our first new playlist. The next step is, of course, to add your first new content. So you can pick from the various lists we have here. As you can see, you have plenty of content you can use in common play so here let's say you want to import a video inside your playlist you can either do it from the library of common play that you have here or from your google drive if you have already connected it to common play here i'll be choosing from my library and from a folder where i know i have a video i'll be able to choose it and to import it in my new playlist. As you can see, it is not broadcasted yet because I need to plan this new playlist. So here I'll be activating the planning of this playlist and deciding when I want it to be broadcasted. So let's say, for example, I want it to be broadcasted specific days during the week from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m and that I want this recurrence to be every week on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and to end in one month, meaning, for example, the 22nd of November. And here, I've just added the planification to my playlist, and this video will not be broadcasted. To see how it will look like, what you can do now is click on the button preview up there, and see directly how your playlist will look like. Be count on. As you can see here, our video is already broadcasting since we have just scheduled our playlist. Well, if you have any other questions concerning the playlist, just know that we have already created a few videos on our YouTube channel that will help you to go further in the comprehension of our feature for the playlist. You can also find other information concerning the playlist, such as the targeted screens, the analytics and the activity logs. Next thing, the designer. So the designer is an editing tool we provide directly inside Common Play to uh, make things easier for our users, so they can directly create their contents inside Common Play and then use it uh, in the place they also have in Common Play. To do so, nothing is easier. You just need to create a template by clicking on that button. Let's say here, I want to name it Demo Template, but you can name it the way you want. 
and also choose the access rights for that file. Then just click on create and here you'll be able to start from scratch or even from a model we provide you with. As you can see, there are plenty of them, but here I'll be choosing the blank one so you can see all the features in that designer. So you can already add um, text, of course, but what's interesting with Common Play is that you can associate those text with data sources. Data sources can be from multiple files, uh, such as Excel files, Google Sheet files, CSV, calendar, etc., and even Lumaps and other files that you will be able to discover when going further with Common Play, of course. So you will see that later, but just know that you can go really, really further with uh, the data sources that will allow you to pick directly from the data sources the information you need to make your template, template even more relevant and at the same time still aesthetic. Then, for example, you can add images, videos, also the styles that are a way to make the things more aesthetic. You can also add the date and time and as for the text, you'll be able to change the layout of your text. Also, you can import directly contents from the web. So if you want, for example, to display a web page, you'll be able to do so. Then you can also import files from your Google Drive and even QR codes or even charts that will be also linked to data sources. Well, at the end, don't forget to save your template to make sure it keeps the last modification and then you can go back to come in play. Afterwards, this template will be usable in your playlist as a template content. Also, you have what we call the zoning, which is a way to create a frame for your screen. So you will have the playlist centered on the screen and around you will still have the same elements each time, such as the date and time, your logo or whatever you want. Next section you need to know about is the display section. So once you will have created your screens, once again, do not worry. We also have documentation concerning that in the YouTube channel because we have plenty of videos, but even in our assistance chat here. So if you don't know it yet, it's a way to contact us and to have a quick reply or to search in our knowledge base for all the help articles we already created for you to understand better come in play and to go further in your use of it. Once you created your screen, as I said, and associate it to a player, you'll be able to click on that screen and to see the different information associated to it. First thing, you can see here that where, excuse me, your um, screen is located, the other information concerning it, and either, even the hardware and operating system to see uh, which player is associated to it, how it is behaving, etc. And last thing, if your screen is connected, you'll be able to have a status history that will keep you updated on the way your screen is behaving. If you had any disconnections or if it's going well, etc., etc. You can even see it for a day, but also for a week and for the last months. Well, you can even change the, um, the elements concerning your, your screen by clicking on the pencil next to the name of your screen. So as you can see here, it is the profile of my screen. I can change a few information about it, even the display language of the screen if I need to change it, the time zone also, and uh, other information such as the access rights if I want to make it specific. Well, you can see that you also have a preview button. So here's the difference with the preview button for the playlist is that you will see the integrality of your screen. So if you come to add anything such as a zoning, so a frame around your playlist, you will see it here from the preview button of your screen. You can also see the different playlists you associated your screen with, the zoning if you have any, newsfeed uh, if you created one and same thing for the widgets. Uh, you can even see if it belongs to a screen groups. And if you have 
a device that is touchable. You can even activate the interactive mode. So your screen will show at some point your broadcasting and the rest of the time it will be interactive and people will be able to access it and access information from that screen. Uh, last thing, you also have what we call the metadata, but it's a bit complex. You will have information if you need about it and the activity logs, which is a way to see all the actions made on that screen. Then you need to know about the library. So click on your library. And here you'll see that it is very easy to use, such as any other library you would find on another software. So just give it a name, such as demo come in play or whatever the name you would like and then define the access rights if needed before creating that new folder next thing super easy to use you just need to click on that folder and then either to upload your files from your library or directly to drag and drop them from your computer's library so really easy to do. Uh, I don't need to take time on that. And I just pass on the next section. So this, might, this one might be the, the main one since you will have the whole settings for the platform. So as you can see here, you have the general settings. Then you'll see that it is the way you can create your different data sources. Also, you will find a global activity log that allows you to see everything that has been done so far on your space, by who, what action, at what moment, etc. This is also where you will configure your different accounts, such as, for example, your social media accounts, um, your Facebook accounts, uh, Twitter or Facebook, also your Microsoft and Google accounts, if you use one of them, and the other ones to manage weather, images, etc. You can decide from this setting section how your users will authenticate to access come in play. So either you decide to do it with uh, the authentication method that we just asked them their password. Otherwise, you can use the Google SSO or Microsoft SSO if your company is using it and you think it's easier. You can also see the different users of the site and add them or uh, delete them if needed. You can even create groups of users and what we call roles that will allow you to define the permission of a specific uh, role, uh, such as if people uh, can access the playlist, modify it, delete, etc, etc. So pretty uh, easy to use and pretty handy. Then the extensions, you'll be able to see that by yourself later when using come in play. And last thing, but not least, here is our assistant chat where you can directly send us a message to ask us any question and also the access to our knowledge base where you will find plenty of help articles where we explain how to use come in play and our advanced features and integrations. So do not hesitate to contact us if needed and also to go watch our other uh, videos on our YouTube channel if you need any answers to your question. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and that you will be now able to start using Come in Play. I hope to meet you very soon. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to use our assistance chat or to consult our knowledge base and our videos on our YouTube channel. That was Gail, Customer Success Manager for Come in. And I hope to see you very soon using Come in Play.